gorgeous people in this video i want to talk about what to do when you're manifesting and actually the circumstances are out of control so let's dive deeper i love this topic because this is something that i personally experienced myself when i was manifesting my new life when i was actually tapping into quantum field manifesting my dream business my dream relationship and my dream lifestyle so i actually experienced this in multiple different areas of my life and here's the thing when you are manifesting and you are suddenly feeling like the world is collapsing and everything is falling apart i want you to pause take a deep breath in and just chill and i know this sounds crazy because your life is literally falling apart but hear me out your life is falling apart because the outside circumstances are actually rearranging based on your new frequency and your new vibration so of course your life needs to fall apart because as we all know, the outside reality is a reflection of your inner reality. The outside reality is just a dream. It's not real. What is real is quantum field. It's the field of energy. It's the field of oneness. It's the divine matrix. That is real. And the outside reality always mirrors your inner reality world it will always mirror your frequency and your energy it will always mirror your state of consciousness and so if your life is literally falling apart maybe you just broke up maybe your relationship fall apart maybe your business fall apart maybe you just got fired maybe fill in the blank these are good things why because universe is responding to your vibration it's like you want to fill closet your closet with new clothes there is no way you can fill closet with new clothes when the current closet is full of the old clothes. Like you need to get rid of it. You need to let it go. You need to change the frequency, if you will, that is going to attract different possibilities, that is going to attract different relationships, that is going to attract different work, that is going to attract even place where you live. All these things are rearranging and for you to actually rearrange and change the outside circumstances, you need to be experiencing what is called the world is falling apart. Your world is never falling apart. It's just adjusting to your frequency. So I want you to actually see this as a good thing. It's a blessing. Even though I have to admit, this blessing is painful at times. It's not easy to just let go of relationships suddenly that you were in for years. It's not easy to let go job that you actually doing for years and you identify with this job. You created identity that is tied to this particular job or work or business. It's not easy to let go your past identity and to merge with your new self. It's not easy to change location and move to different city or country if you want, right? It is not easy. These are big things. These are big, big shifts. These are big changes. But I promise you, this is the time of your life because right now, when everything is falling apart, you are opening up to new possibilities, new opportunities. And in other words, new potential that can manifest and that can actually be seen in your 3D reality. And right now, actually, it's exciting time because you can create anything you want. And in fact, you are already creating it. Otherwise, your life would stay the same. So understand that pain is actually connected with that change. Change as I call it the law of change in my book, Love is the Law, is necessary because life is change. There will always be change. Nothing is static. Like we are going through change, constant change all the time, every day. Even if you don't perceive it, we are constantly shifting and changing and becoming our next version of self. And so this change that you are experiencing is connected with your ego. Your ego wants that status quo. Your ego wants that safety. Your ego wants that security. Your ego wants that feeling that it's all going to stay put. But it's just illusion. Because once you understand that life is change, 
this is how it is. This is how it's always going to be. And you accept that this is necessary to ride the wave of change for you to actually open up to new possibilities, for you to actually manifest that life of your dreams. And as you sustain this change, as you actually accept this change and you no longer fight this change, you will be able to swim through this wave easier. It will be more acceptable. It will be more pleasant. It's not going to hurt so much. So understand that this is good. What's happening right now is good. It is for your highest good. And you're the one who is creating it. You're not the victim in this. You are the one that initiated this process and you are the creator of this current experience that you are going through. So don't feel like a victim. Poor me. Look at me. My life just collapsed. No, you are strong enough to sustain this change. Otherwise, you would not even experience it in the first place. This change is connected to your soul's evolution. It's all about evolution. Every experience we are choosing and every desire we are manifesting is there as a tool to help us grow and evolve to the next level. And as you are growing and evolving to the next level, you are experiencing life. You are experiencing life as you want to experience it. So welcome this change. Be grateful. Don't suppress this change. Don't run away from this change. Step in. Be brave. Be grateful. And the most important thing is trust. Trust that whatever is going on is going on because you created this. And there is going to be a moment in time when everything is going to click and you will understand why it happened in this particular order. And you will look back and you will be so grateful. So stay there. Because it's not going to last forever. It will shift, I promise you. There's going to be time when you're going to manifest love of your life. And when you look back, you will be so proud of your younger self. You did it. And now you know why. When you are shifting to new job or maybe new business, you will be so proud one day because you look back and you'll be like, oh my God, now I know why. Because I love my work now. I love my purpose now. I understand why it happened in this order. And because you don't see it yet, doesn't mean you're not going to see it one day. And so trust in the divine process. Trust in yourself. Trust in your higher self. Trust is happening for your highest good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one.